Every human being has got two portions or two aspects, two facets. Every human being is born innately with these two elements. One element is your material element. Another is your spiritual element. So there is the material quotient in every human being and there is also a spiritual quotient. This is how you are being created. This is how humanity has evolved from day one. Existed perhaps, not even evolved, existed that there is a material quotient and then there is the spiritual portion. Now, material portion is very easy to measure. All through the course of our lives, we all have created a family. We have acquired belongings. We have generated wealth, resources, businesses, well-being, friends, a social circle, in short all of this is your material portion. Whether you like it or not, all of us have some of all of this. 
you have a friend circle, you have a little bit of wealth of the world you acquire, a little bit of name, power, family, etc., etc., etc. All of that is your material portion. A human being has got also the spiritual portion. Now the spiritual portion is measured by the capacity. You can be at peace. You can find yourself happy. You can find yourself contented. And not just happy and contented with yourself, but actually you go about sharing that joy and happiness and contentment wherever you go. Like you can't take away that energy and laughter and fun and frolic from a child, can you? Wherever a child is, there has to be an energy. The child is so fidgety. The child is full of laughter. Even when we were lighting the lamp, only those kids were clapping hands. None of you clapped hands. I know maybe it must have been very boring exercise lighting the lamp. But they were so excited, they were clapping. Why? I see even now they are clapping. Perhaps that's the only thing they are following. So there is the spiritual portion which is measured by your ability to be peaceful and happy. You can call it the glow and inner maturity in simple terms, in the terms which you all are familiar with the topic. How full are you? The spiritual portion is measured by the fullness in you. You don't tell me, sir, I never heard of this before. I've never been tutored on these things. It doesn't matter whether you are tutored or told, whether you know it or not. Like, does somebody have to tell you when you have been offered a need? Does somebody have to tell you when to stop eating? I can offer you, but I don't have to tell you when to stop eating, isn't it? You come and ask me, sir, there's so much of food. In the bojan only, in the dinali, sir. The moment you feel a sense of fullness, paripurnata, when you feel, you say, I think I have had enough. If somebody is forcing uh, a little sweet, is there, there is a, a pastry cake, is there, for a little batch is even this kind of now I've been done, but now I'm full. Paripurna, I can't take any more. Tell me. Feel that sense of paripurnata, that sense of fullness. Now, what is interesting is every human being has these two, and every human being needs these two. One cannot be with the other. It's like I have two legs, I have two arms. I need these two to carry on my life. You need the material portion, you need also the, the spiritual portion. Is it uncomfortable something? There is the material portion. There is the spiritual portion. The spirituality in you can be measured by how full you feel in your life. As I've said, when you feel that fullness, you must live it, you must experience it, and you must radiate that fullness to the world out there. And I must say, all of you have it in you. The question is, 
whether you know it or not. And both these factors are independent. What do I mean independent? I can be materially very advanced, but spiritually I may not feel that advanced. I don't experience that fullness. Is it possible? I can have so much of the world and yet I'm not contented. I believe if I can grab a little more of the world for myself, I'll be happy. A little more, a little more. So these two are independent. Now what? One thing you can learn today that every human has got three personalities. Mood personalities on I There is the outer self. There is the outer self. There is the inner self. And then there is the real self. What are the three? Pillalo. First thing is outer self. Second thing is inner self. The last thing is the real self. The outer self talks of your body and the material things. The inner self consists of, okay, I only want the kids to answer this question and then I'll come to the grown-ups. Are you ready? Huh? Ready? Yeah. Okay, now tell me what is this inner self? Tujakma. I cut in the hand. The parent did. The parent, Chakma. Bhavani. Very good. Inner self law. What is the inner self? Every human being. You have it. I have it. Everybody has it. Are to liver, to kidney, pancreas, Abani. blood to blood to then another blood to blood pressure to blood sugar. Amani inara, amma adhikar ma. The name and number first to hello hello shanti shanti shanti. What do I say? There are three bodies. One is the outer body, then there is the inner body, and then there is the real body. I said the outer body consists of so what is it that is seen? The physical body is seen. The physical body consists of the organs also. So the physical body consists of the body, the outer body consists of the physical body and the external body. Now what is the inner body? Okay. Sri Lakshmi and Nibiramana. That's been a multiple vector. That runs a jackal pretty matter. Answer him now. Inner body lay on the heart. Okay. Hey, Ninanda, I don't tell you to put your own to put your Energy. What did you say? When did you know? So the inner cell consists of energy in the form of thoughts which are in the form of 
manas which means the mind buddhi which means the intellect in the view there is the manas the mind and the buddhi the intellect but that is not the topic of discussion today i am not going to talk of the outer self i am not talking of the inner self what i am going to talk about is the real self because that's a topic i was told to speak on and the real self is the same in all of us the outer self is different the inner self is different the real self is the same the same in a same or a sinner the same you can be a mahatma or you can be a a chanda a shudra the atman the truth the self is the same in all human beings now what is the nature of the self a self a real self swabhava what is the swabhava of the real self oh my god you are too advanced for me Sir, what is this? Sir, we are preparation only. Now, do you? Ah, who am I? Sai Baba, the teacher, the guru, the leader, the leader. Sir, what is this? 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 There is a famous invocation of the Upanishads. Here, there is a part in our today. Pur Namada, Pur Namidam, Pur Nar, Pur Namudachate, Pur Nasya, Pur Namadaya, Pur Naveva Vashishate. How many times the word Purna is said? Purna Mada, Purna Vina, Purna, Purna Mudachate, Purna Sya, Purna Madaya, Purna Me, Purna Me. Ah, Purna Me. Ava Shishate. Any such thing Purna? Seven times. Now what does it mean? what does this mean the self in you is paripurna is full you are all the time full that is the very nature of your real self but sadly everybody out there in the world feels a sense of emptiness isn't it you also feel it these people feel emptiness i can understand you people feel i can understand but on the contrary you people feel emptiness i can understand if these people feel emptiness i need a big stick in hand ha huh? all their lives they wanted something they got it you can go to a person on a wheelchair and ask are you happy with life what would he say are you i am all the time stuck to a wheelchair if only i have two legs to walk i'll be happy isn't it someone ma how i can't even go for a walk i want to go to the washroom also i can't go if only i have two legs to walk i'll be happy you go to a person who is hale and healthy who has got two strong limbs to take him wherever he wants you ask him are you happy with the two legs you have what do you say What do you mean happy? Every day I got to walk half an hour to the bus stop, wait fifteen minutes, then half an hour again wait in the bus, stand in the bus, 
and go after my office and all day work and go to the same ritual, come back. All day I'm only walking and walking. I don't think I'm any different from a cattle or a buffalo. They're also walking, I'm also walking. And what is this like? If only I have an old two wheeler, I'll be happy. You go to a fellow who has got a two wheeler and ask him, Are you happy with the two wheeler? No. My family is growing. We are four and two stone on the way. Uh, how is it possible for five of us to go in a two wheeler? You tell me so. If only I can get even a second hand cars 24. I have not got any commission. See television, you want to see the main program. Main program is less advertisement is more. If you see television a little bit, you know. Correct, correct? Uh, correct. Nibere and me. Correct or not? Uh? The Tan Japani under the third. Uh, Nibere and me. Pushpalata. In TV just now, school girl wrong. Nah, get them one level. They end up with TV just now. Advertisement echo kada. Too many advertisements. So you that fellow says, if only I have an old two car, I'll be happy. You go to a fellow with an old car. What is this, sir? How much is the petrol price now? Petrol price is close to 110 rupees. And how much mileage I get? All my money is getting wasted. AC is not working, that is not working, this is not working. All the time I'm spending money on the maintaining this car. If only I have, even if it's been a small, a new car, I will have. You go to a fellow who has got two legs, who has got an old scooter, who has got an old car, who has also got a small new car. You ask him, are you happy with it? If only I can get married. Nobody wants to marry me. You go to a fellow who has got married, who has got everything, you ask him, is he happy? Hair is falling. Hair is falling. Some people must have thought to themselves, the picture that fellow has got so much hair, in reality this fellow has no hair. Is it a wig or reality? Real hair only, but those days the photo hair was there, now hair is gone. Now I am complaining, if only I had a little more hair, I will be happy. I am not complaining, Juma, I am saying. Anil I can understand your problem. I will join you very soon, don't worry. Huh? Now what do you learn from this in life? Now my mother sends a single mother. She worked so hard in bringing up a kid. She made him so well, he came out on the top in the universities and he wanted to go for higher education abroad. She was very reluctant, but she didn't want to be hindrance to his future. She said, okay, if you want to go, go. But he was a very sincere, obedient boy. Every six months, he used to visit her. Every time she goes to the airport, she's worried. Whether this fellow is going to come alone or with somebody with him. Worried, 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 worried. And whenever she saw him coming alone, she was so, so happy. Appa, my son has come alone. Not married in three years. Three years. He studied, he didn't want to work, he wanted to come India, he wanted to serve his motherland, he came back. First she was worried, I hope this girl doesn't marry any wife in a foreign land. She was relieved that he didn't marry. Now after come back, she's pressurizing him to marry, he doesn't want to marry. All this while she was worried. Is he going to marry? Now she's worried he doesn't want to marry. So you will have a very legitimate reason in your life to create, create what? Only 
one person only two people there are more friend pro all are sleeping what is this every one of you are caught up in this trap you make yourself believe that you are empty you make yourself believe happiness is it something you do not have and your life is consumed the famous words in the gita i don't know whether you kids learned this i don't know which chapter it says mohasha moha karmana moha jnana vichetasah everything in life is moha 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 means in hope in vain you think happiness is something in other than yourself you believe you are not happy you believe you are empty and that is because you do not know yourself i'll be surprised in fact i will be really surprised if anybody in this classroom says i have attained that state where i know myself you do not know yourself what you know is your outer self at most very rare are people who know the inner self hardly anybody knows the real self and since you do not know your real self all of you are feeling a sense of emptiness when there is paripurna within there is that fullness within yet you don't feel the fullness what are you feeling you are feeling a sense of emptiness and those who feel that sense of fullness are actually dash fill the blank those who feel the sense of fullness are dash one chance will you fail sorry correct answer but fail those who feel that sense of fullness are nahi karo enlightened chapan sir a yogi nan onna da trupti padta fullness ko correct onna da onna samprupti padte fullness ko fullness correct not wrong but okay word one word answer all trupti padta amma nanu kedha pitch chestunna answer correct no you're not wrong at all those who feel prasad garu those who feel a sense of fullness are one word answer they are divine they are divine they are very high man no chinna one no the pada pada matlo mane ki it's a very high state it's an absolute state what you say a divine any other word any other thought those who feel that fullness are ha huh? blessed truly they are blessed they are actually givers those who feel a sense of fullness are actually givers only when you have full you you want to part with the isn't it but those who feel a sense of emptiness are takers they keep taking and taking and taking and grabbing and grabbing and grabbing and all that you grab you still feel said alas the shastra say the famous words of the shastra they say mudhamate o fool you don't 
realize what you are doing to yourself. You don't have to go and search for that fullness anywhere. It is right within you. Where is that fullness? It's right within you, isn't it? You know, the very famous scientist, thinker, philosopher, Emerson, he says, every man is divinity in disguise. Every man is divinity in disguise, a god playing the fool. He's playing a fool with you. And we all have become mega utter fools of ourselves because we don't realize the divinity in this dance. You know, women all are looking at me, staring at me. Even man and woman, divinity in disguise, God playing the fool. fool. Throughout the Shastras, there is this very strong message. Christ also says the kingdom of heaven is within you. So the second, second chapter of the Gita, very clearly spells it out. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha Prajahati Yana Kamahan Sarvan Padhamanogatan Atman Yevatmana Pushkaha Sita Pragnasta Gochate A Sita Pragna means a man of perfection. Who is a man of perfection? Atman Yeva Atmana Pushkaha He who is satisfied in the self by the self. So you don't seek it outward. So the biggest blunder humanity is making is you are searching for happiness in something other than yourself. And in that you have lost the, the very purpose of life. Every human being is born with this fundamental purpose to realize the truth, the happiness, and they don't see it within since you don't see it within, you don't realize it, and your entire life is gone in vain, moha, asha, running behind what your mind keeps pitching. And the Shastras have said, you, you know the classic example of emptiness is Ravana. If you want to think what it is to live a life of emptiness is Ravana. Ravana had all what he could ask for, isn't it? Anni anni Ravana But what did Ravana want? Ravana wanted Sita. And then, Aapa Korita Valla, he destroyed himself. So, in spite of everything, Anni Unna, he had actually hailed him from the heavens, eh? yet he wanted Sita. What does it mean? Your mind will make you feel empty all through your life, irrespective of what you have materially amassed. Irrespective of what you have, you will feel empty if your attention is outward. The moment you turn inward, you will find yourself Paripurna. It is not the nature of the world to fill you. Remember this. It is not its nature. You can have one house. You can have a hundred houses. You can have one acre. You can have ten thousand acres. You can have anything under the sun. But I guarantee you, you will not find Paripurna in it. You will not find fullness in it. Why? It is not its nature. Everything has its swabhava in it. Okay, the nature, Pillalu, Chepandi. 
नेचर कर्टम ऑफ शुगर है तो कहते हैं नेचर ऑफ शुगर इज शुगर सो हाज नीमा सिंस व्हेन डिड यू बिकम यंग आई नो यू आर हेल्पेड हार्ड हाँ अगेन एट स्वीट टू स्वीट तरह जैसे एक बुलगल हाँ the nature of कागर का है कागर का करेक्ट है what is the nature of कागर का है कागर ना what is the nature of कागर का है अरे लिख पढ़ के दो हाँ it is bitter you will never ever eat a sweet bitter god You will never ever eat a bitter sugar. Sugar, I put a sweet on it, ma. Sugar, I put a chain on it, sir. Sugar, I put a chain on it, didn't I, ma? Ah, chain, did it? Is sugar called a chain? Hmm. So, okay. What is the nature of tiger? Can claim themselves to feel that fullness within. 
Many people experience that emptiness. One in a million feels that fullness with or without the world. I may have the world with me. I may not have the world with me. I may have the love. I may not have the love. Today you may give me some respect. I feel very nice. Tomorrow let's say for obvious reason you don't give me enough respect. What happens to me then? Do I feel a little less? That means something wrong with me. Whether there is health or ill health, whether there is name or no name, whether there is love or no love, whether there is concern or no concern, doesn't matter. An experience, that aura, that glow, the fullness, the paripurna, because that is the very swabhava of the Atman, the truth, the self-will. The nature of the world, if there is no happiness in it, that is its swabhava. The nature of the Atman is, it gives, it radiates that bliss. In the Isha Vasya Upanishad, he says it's like the, the sun. The sun is glowing. Can you look at the sun? You have no capacity to look at the sun. It's too radiant. It's glowing. He compares it to the, the cell as the sun. Remove that this pieces. Because I want to see the, the sun. I want to see the, the self. The self is always compared to the, the bliss or the joy you experience within. Now this is the state. This is the goal. This is what we must aspire. The second thing is, one is the goal, another thing is the, the path, another thing is the, the road map. You may say, sir, if the self is Paripurna, how do I get there? Isn't it? How, what is the path to it? I think, it all, I had three points, but it all boils down to one simple step. The very famous words of Adi Shankar Acharya in the text Madhuvayu. Very famous words, he says, Those who know it, please sing along with me. Let this whole place reverberate with the great words. Satsangatve Nisangatvam Nisangatve Nirmohatvam Nirmohatve Nishatatvam Nishatatvam Jeevanam Mokti Once again Satsangatve Nisangatvam Nisangatve Nirmohatvam Nirmohatve Nishatatvam you want to get to that state of Jiva Mukti, which is liberation. It all starts with Satsanga. This is the ladder of rise of a spiritual path. It all starts with Satsanga. So if you have the right company, the Satsanga, what does satsang do? Nisam that one. You develop an attitude of detachment. Attitude of detachment for things which are of no value to you. You should not be concerned with so many things and leave them aside. I'm not interested in it. You're detached to the lower so that you can get attached to the higher. And how do you develop the detachment? Through satsang. And once you have developed the detachment, non-attachment, nissan from nissan he says, 
you develop nirmohatma nirmoha you are free from that moha or delusion things become very clear in life i do not know whether you are very clear what you are seeking in life yes going to the flow everybody is acquiring i am acquiring everybody gets this get that yes going on not in this not anybody not anybody realizes what they are seeking the purpose because everybody is clouded in moha delusion once that moha gone nischaya tattva you become very steadfast steadfast in the sense of you know what are what is the very equivalent of steadfastness nischaya tattva telugu word telugu word same ha same and once you have the quality of nischaya tattva jeevan mukti is on the corner so the road map to your fullness starts with satsang so wherever possible however possible whenever possible inject this wisdom the divine knowledge of the shastras it should be given it was so nice when we visited the, the children's home the children got together and chanted a few verses of the gita innocent naive they just chanted they can't it but slowly they are able to be told a few words and they go to and it in some way and if everybody here who are your intellects are given an opportunity where this becomes an ongoing process where they can get connected to this wisdom there may be things happening they just have to sitting where they are they can just connect what is being suggested is once you create the satsang all the mental energy it is being dissipated in the unnecessary channels so when there nothing to do the mind goes everywhere so how do you arrest that by creating an environment where your mind gets connected to the higher so the fullness is your dharma it is yours claim it it's like when you when a property belongs to you don't you don't argue in front of the lawyer or the court judge and say that is mine i have proof of document this is mine nobody can claim it so all the shastras tell you to experience that paripurna that purnata in you is your birthright claim it not bother and you're searching for it somewhere where it isn't what a waste what a waste so i think this are the a little insight into this topic from emptiness to fullness